English listening activities. Unit 21. Hotels. Page 82. 2. Let's listen. People are checking into a hotel. What do they have to do? Listen and circle the correct answers. 1. Hello, my name's Bill Sampson. I have a reservation. Just a moment, please, Mr. Sampson. Ah, uh, yes. Would you mind filling out this form, please? Thanks. Could I also see your passport? Here it is. Thank you. Will you be paying by credit card? Yes. I have it right here. Thank you. 2. Yes, I'd like to check in, please. Certainly. Do you have a reservation with us? Yes, the name's Peter Fox. That's funny. I can't find your name in the computer. Do you have your confirmation number? Yes, it's 6913. Oh, I see. Sorry, your name was spelled wrong. And could I see your passport, please? Here you are. Okay. How will you be paying for your room? I'll pay cash. In that case, I'll have to ask you for a deposit. That's fine. Three. I'd like to check in. My name's Pennington. Would you mind spelling your name for me so I can check it on the computer? Yes. It's P-E-N-N-I-N-G-T-O-N. Ah, uh, yes, here it is. Can I see some form of identification, please? Is a driver's license okay? Yes, that's fine. Thanks. Do I need to fill out a registration form? No, you are already registered. Just sign this card, please. Four. Yes, I'd like a room, please. Do you have a reservation? No, I didn't think I'd need one. I'm with City Travel. Oh, yes. Then can I see some form of identification? Sure. Here's my company ID. Or would you prefer my passport? Your company ID is fine. Do you need my credit card? Yes, please. And would you fill out this registration card? Page 83. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. What kind of room does each guest want? Listen and check the correct answers. 1. Would you like a single or a double room? Oh, it's just for me, so a single is fine. Smoking or non-smoking? I'm a non-smoker. And the standard or deluxe room? The deluxe is an extra $20. I'll take the cheaper one, please. Sure. Just one thing. I'm a very light sleeper. Can I get a room away from the street? I find the traffic noise can be a problem. I'm sorry, ma'am. There aren't any more rooms available on that side. But you'll find the rooms are very quiet even on the street side. Oh. Okay, then. 2. What kind of room would you like? Are there any deluxe rooms available? My wife and I want to give ourselves a treat. Yes, there are. So that'll be the double deluxe. And you'd like a non-smoking room? Definitely. Neither of us smokes. Okay. You're all set. You're in room 701. I'll have the bag sent up to your room right away. You'll find a complimentary fruit basket in the room. That's nice. Thanks. Oh, and we'll need a wake-up call at 7 a.m. Can you arrange that? Sure. No problem. Enjoy your stay. 3. What kind of room would you like? Oh, just something simple. The cheapest you have will be fine. So you don't want the deluxe, then? No, thanks. I can give you a standard single on the second floor. The lower floors are cheaper. Sounds perfect. But the only one I have available at that rate is a smoking room, I'm afraid. Oh, that's what I want. No problem, then. I need to iron some clothes. Is there an iron in the room? I'm afraid there isn't. Oh. Could you please send an iron up to my room? Sure. Four. Will that be a room for the two of you? Yes, that's right. Do you need a smoking room? No, we don't. And we'd like a room on a high floor, please. Let me see if we have one available. Yes, we do. Good. Would you like a deluxe room? It's a little more expensive, but it's much bigger. Oh, it doesn't matter about the size. The ordinary room will be fine. Certainly.
And is it possible to get coffee and, say, some sandwiches at this hour? We're a little hungry. Sure. I can send some up to your room if you like. Thanks. That'd be great. Page 83. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What else does each guest request? Circle the correct answer. Page 84. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are discussing their rooms. Listen and check the correct information. 1. Is your room okay? Well, it's certainly big enough. That's a nice change. A lot of hotel rooms these days are very small. There's also plenty of space in the bathroom. That's good. I wish I had a better view, though. There's nothing to see except the cars in the parking garage. You could always change. I guess so, but I can't be bothered. Anyway, it's great to have a TV and a fax machine in the room. There's also a coffee maker, so I can make coffee whenever I want it. I was a little disappointed that there was nothing, not even a bottle of water, in the refrigerator when I checked in. But I called down and asked them to fill it up, and they did that right away. 2. Is your room big enough for the two of you? Well, it's kind of small. By the time we put our bags on the floor, there was hardly any room to move. But you should see the bathroom. It's almost as big as the bedroom. It's great, but isn't that strange? A bathroom bigger than the room. It is. What floor are you on? We're on the second floor, so we don't really see anything interesting. Just the street and the building next to us. Is there anything much in the room? Just the bed and a tiny refrigerator big enough for two bottles of water. The bed is as hard as a rock. I could hardly sleep last night. The manager said they would bring me a softer mattress later. Well, that's good. 3. Is your room at the hotel okay? It's not bad. It's a good-sized room, so that's nice. The bathroom is absolutely tiny, though, and it doesn't have an electrical outlet, so I can't use my hair dryer in there. That's inconvenient. At least I can look out at the beautiful park across the street. I like to be able to see trees from my window. That sounds lovely. Is there a lot in the room? No, not really. Just an old TV, but no refrigerator or anything else. It was really hot last night, and I couldn't sleep, so I spoke to the manager about it. She sent up an electric fan as soon as I called. That should help. 4. Is your room okay? It's pretty good, thanks. That's good. How big is the room? Well, it could be bigger. It really is pretty small. There's just enough room for one chair beside the bed. It does sound small. Yeah, but my only real complaint is with the shower. The water is either much too hot or way too cold. I'm going crazy. Luckily, I spoke to the manager, and he's sending a plumber up tomorrow. That's nice of him. How about the view? Oh, I do love the view of the city at night. It's wonderful. That's fantastic. What does the room have in it? Well... There's a really nice TV and a stereo. Plus, there's a fax machine and one of those mini fridges. Everything I need. Page 84. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What did each guest complain about? Circle the correct answer. Unit 22. Traffic. Page 86. 2. Let's listen. People are making announcements about traffic conditions. Listen and number the pictures. 1. There's been an accident on northbound Route 101. A truck is overturned and traffic is very congested. So keep away from 101 North until further notice. 2. Traffic is moving smoothly today on the Kennedy Bridge. Traffic is unusually light. There are very few cars on the bridge at this time. 3. The New Harbor Bridge is very busy today. Traffic is moving very slowly across the bridge. It's bumper to bumper, so avoid the bridge if you can. 
4. There has been a traffic accident on Watergate Drive. It looks like two cars had a head-on collision. There are also a couple of ambulances there, so keep away from Watergate Drive. 5. Highway 25 is closed for repairs today, so better stay away from there. No traffic will be allowed on Highway 25 all day. 6. Don't forget, it's the annual marathon today. Right now, there are hundreds of runners on the road. Pine Street and all the streets from Pine through Oak are closed until 2 p.m. Page 87. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. These people have to go somewhere. How will each person get there? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Are you going to take the bus downtown, or are you going to take your bike? I think there's too much traffic on the road today to go by bike. It's not safe to ride in traffic. I guess there's so much traffic because of the big football game. Well, look, I'm driving downtown. Can I give you a ride? Hey, thanks. So, do you use your bike very often? Not during the week, but I ride it pretty often on the weekend. 2. How are you going to get downtown? Are you going to drive? I don't think so. I just heard the traffic report on the radio. It seems there is a traffic jam on the freeway. They said a couple of buses have broken down. I guess it'll be quicker to take the subway. Absolutely. 3. Gosh, I wonder how much longer we'll have to wait for a bus. We've waited half an hour already. Do you think we should go back and get the car? Oh, no. I hate driving at night. Let's take a taxi. I don't want to be late for the movie. Good idea. I'll call for one on my cell phone. They usually come pretty quickly. 4. How are you going to get home from the restaurant on Sunday, Harry? Oh, I can just take a bus or a taxi. There are usually plenty of taxis around that area at night. Yes, but not on a Sunday night. You might wait for a long time. Why don't you ask Kevin to drive you home? He's having dinner with us, and he lives near you. That's right. I'll ask him. 5. What's the traffic like downtown today? It's pretty bad. One of the traffic lights is broken, so all the traffic is backing up. Oh. How should I get to my doctor's appointment? Drive? Take a taxi? A taxi won't be any faster than driving. Well, then, I'll probably take the subway to the station and then walk from there. Yeah, today I think that's the fastest way. 6. How do you plan to get to your friend's house? Do you need a ride? How's the weather? It's really nice out. Oh, thanks anyway, but I'll ride my bike. I was going to take the bus, but I need to get some exercise. All right, but be careful of the traffic. Page 87. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Page 88. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are describing solutions to traffic problems in their cities. What did each city do? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. In my town, public transportation was never very good. You had to drive everywhere, so there was always traffic. The government wanted to make public transportation easier than driving cars. They bought some nice new buses, for example, and they added air conditioning to the ones we already had. They also began offering lower bus fares on the weekends, so more people would be encouraged to try the new buses. They raised taxi fares, too. I guess they figure that if taxis cost more, people might think about using buses more. 2. Well, the problem was that thousands of people drove into the city center every day, and there weren't enough parking spaces. So the government wanted to make parking easier. But they didn't build more parking garages. Instead, they tried to keep cars out of the city center. Recently, they started making people who drive their cars downtown pay a daily fee. You have to pay $10 if you want to drive your car into the center between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. 
At the same time, they have raised the parking lot rates, so people think twice before they drive their car downtown. Three, traffic was a real problem around here. It moved so slowly. Last year, the government turned a bunch of streets downtown into one-way streets. This helped the traffic move more quickly. Special lanes on roads just for buses were built at the same time. If you're caught driving your car in a bus lane, you have to pay a fine, and it's a really high fine. Also, they passed a law last year that says you can only drive your car downtown three days a week. You have to display a special pass in your car that says which days you're allowed to drive downtown. Four. Air pollution in our city was a huge problem, and we really need to lower the pollution in our city. I guess that's why the government started putting special bicycle lanes on the streets downtown. That way, people can ride their bikes to work instead of using their stinky cars. They also made a rule that says there must be at least two people in your car if you want to drive downtown during the week. They also ordered these amazing new pollution-free buses. They use electricity, so they don't put anything bad into the air. Page eighty-eight, four. Let's listen. Task two. Listen again. What problem did each city have? Write the correct letter. Unit twenty-three, roommates, page ninety. Two, let's listen. People are talking about their roommates. Listen and circle the two words that best describe each person. One, I like sharing a room with Greg. He's very quiet and always asks me if it's okay for him to listen to the radio or watch TV. He likes to keep the room nice and clean, just like I do. He helps me a lot with homework too. He's really smart and is always happy to check over my assignments. Two. Donna loves baking. She's always making things and giving them to her friends. Cakes, pies, bread. She bakes everything. No wonder I'm putting on weight. She loves calling people on the phone, and she spends hours talking to them. She really should spend more time on her schoolwork, though. Three. I have a great roommate. She's neat and she makes me laugh a lot. She's got a wonderful sense of humor. She's really smart too. She studies all the time. I sometimes wish she'd take more time off to make friends because she hardly knows anyone. She doesn't seem to feel comfortable when she's around people. Four. Tom's awful as a roommate. He always says he's going to do something like pay the phone bill. But then he doesn't do it. He never does much to keep the place clean either. He just throws things on the floor and expects me to put them away. He doesn't care that I have to live in his mess. It drives me crazy. Five. Bob and I get along pretty well. He keeps the place really clean and neat. The only thing is, he loves to party. He's always inviting friends over, and they sit around and talk really loudly until it's very late. It makes it really hard for me to study. I've asked him not to do it when I'm studying, but he still does. I guess it doesn't bother him because he never studies. Six. Pam is difficult to live with because she has very strong opinions. She always has to be right about things, and she just sits around all day watching TV. She never does anything active. The worst thing is she loses her temper very quickly. I think I need to find a new roommate. Page ninety-one, three. Let's listen. Task one. People are comparing their new roommate with their old roommate. Which one does each person prefer? Listen and check the correct answer. One. How are you getting along with your new roommate? Well, she's very different from the one I had last semester. Really? Yeah, my old roommate used to play her radio really late and get about twenty phone calls a night. I could never get my work done. Luckily, 
My new roommate is very quiet and hardly talks on the phone. I really like her. Two. Do you have the same roommate this semester? No, I have a new one, unfortunately. I don't like him too much. Oh? Yeah, David, my roommate from last semester, was really neat and clean. My new one leaves his clothes all over the place. The place is always a mess. Three. Has your new roommate moved in yet? Yes, last week. Is he okay? Oh, yeah. I am so glad my old roommate left. He was always in a bad mood about things. My new one is so friendly and always happy. We get along really well. Four. What's your new roommate like? Oh, we've already started having arguments. How come? She likes to have her friends come by all the time. The place is always full of her noisy friends. Oh, that's too bad. You used to get along so well with the old one. I know. She was really considerate. Five. How are you and your roommate getting along? Pretty well. She usually comes home late. But she's always careful not to make any noise in case I'm sleeping. She's very thoughtful. I like that. That's nice. Yeah, she's a real change from my old roommate. She only ever cared about herself. Six. Has your new roommate arrived yet? Yes, he has. He's really fun. Oh, good. Yeah, he has a great sense of humor, so we're always joking and telling stories. That's great. Your old roommate never told jokes. Yes, he was so serious about everything. Page 91. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What word or phrase describes each person's favorite roommate? Write the correct letter. Page 92. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People left voicemails for their roommates. What do they want their roommates to do? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Hi, Paul. This is Ted. Listen, could you do me a favor? I left my chemistry book on my bed. I hope you can find it. The bed's a mess because I didn't have time to make it this morning. Could you bring my book with you to class this afternoon? I need it for class, and I don't have time to go back for it. Thanks. 2. Anne, this is Margaret. I've invited a couple of friends to come by tonight at 7.30 to watch TV with us. You know them, Dave and Sue. Would you be able to pick up some snacks? I have a class till 7, so I won't have time to buy them before the guests arrive. I'll pay you back when I get home. Thanks. 3. Hey, Ken. It's John. Guess what? My folks just sent me an email to say they'll be over to visit around 5. Sorry, but I left the living room in a real mess. Could you give it a quick cleanup? I have football practice till 4.30, and I can't get back to do it myself. We can all go out for dinner together later. I'll buy you whatever you want to eat. 4. Brenda, this is Carrie. I'm calling because we're completely out of food. Sorry, but some friends came by earlier and we finished everything. We were really hungry. The refrigerator is completely empty. Could you get a few things for dinner on the way home? I have to finish an assignment, so I won't be home till about 8. By the way, I cleaned the apartment. I hope you like it. Page 92. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Unit 24. Travel. Page 94. 2. Let's listen. Cindy is talking about her vacation. Listen and number the pictures. So, how was your trip to San Francisco, Cindy? Oh, pretty good, mostly. Mostly? Yeah, it started off okay. 
I did all the usual things. You know, I took a ride on the cable car. That was fun. I know. I love the cable cars. Then I looked around Chinatown. The food there is terrific.、Oh, yeah. Anyway, on my second day, I decided to rent a car. I wanted to get out of the city and look around. Were you on your own? Uh huh. So first, I drove across the Golden Gate Bridge and stopped to take some photos. Then I decided to drive out to Napa Valley. Napa Valley? Yeah, that's where they grow grapes to make wine. It's really beautiful, all green, great vineyards. Unfortunately, while I was driving, I had a slight accident. Oh no! Were you hurt? No, but it was awful. I had to leave the car and take a taxi all the way back to the hotel. It cost me an arm and a leg. Oh no! What a vacation. Page ninety-five, three. Let's listen. Task one. People are calling home while they are on vacation. Listen and check the word that describes each person. One. Hi, mom. This is Jill. Just calling to say hello. I'm having a wonderful time. Last week, I met this gorgeous Italian guy. He's really nice. Um, he doesn't have a job yet, but I'm sure he's going to be very successful. And, and guess what? He wants to marry me. He gave me a beautiful ring. I think it belonged to a relative. Anyway, what do you think? I'll call back later. Bye. Two. Hi, mom. Hi, dad. This is Sean. I'm having a terrific time, but I'm not relaxing much. The weather is great, so I'm always busy doing something. Things are really expensive in Hawaii: the hotel, the clothes, the food, everything. And I'm completely out of money. So, can you send me some money as soon as possible? Thanks. Love you. Bye. Three. Mom, this is John. Listen, I'm going to be back a day late. Traffic to the airport this morning was terrible. By the time I arrived, my plane had left. I also lost my wallet in the rush. It has all my credit cards in it, and the airline won't help me. I'm not sure what to do. I'll call you later. Bye. Four. Oh, Bob, this is Rachel. Sorry, I missed your call last night. I went out for dinner, and today I've got a terrible stomachache. It must be something I ate. Anyway, I'm going to see the doctor. Don't worry, I'm sure I'll be fine. Talk to you soon. Five. Hi, Dad. This is Mary calling from Paris. Sorry I missed you. Listen, something terrible happened. I went on a bus tour this morning and dropped my glasses somewhere. I can't find them and I can't see anything without them. Can you call me back as soon as you get this message? Six. Hi, Mom. This is Margaret calling. Listen, I won't be home tomorrow night. They changed my flight, and there's no flight tomorrow. So, uh, I'll be home on Friday. Don't worry about me. I'm excited because I can do a few more things here in Hong Kong. See you soon. Page ninety-five, three. Let's listen. Task two. Listen again. Why does each person call? Circle the correct answer. Page ninety-six, four. Let's listen. Task one. People are describing travel experiences. Is each statement true or false? Listen. And check the correct answer. One, Cassandra. I met this really nice family when I was in Korea last year. I was in a restaurant and I was having trouble understanding the menu. The wife came over and asked me what I wanted to eat and told me all about Korean food. Then they asked me to join them at their table and they paid for my dinner. They also invited me to their house. We became friends and we keep in touch now by email. They'll take me to a famous temple the next time I go back. Isn't that fabulous? I can't wait to see that temple. Two, Brooke. Once when I was in Italy, I took a bus trip from Rome to Florence. 
the bus was very crowded, and I had to stand most of the way. I had a couple of small bags with me. One was a backpack that had my wallet in it. I kept it in front of me for the entire trip. But when I got to Florence, I couldn't believe what had happened. Someone had cut a hole in my backpack, put in their hand, and removed my wallet. Then they took the money out and put the wallet back inside my backpack. I never noticed a thing. It really ruined my vacation because I couldn't pay to get into any museums. So now I want to go back again next summer and really see the museums I missed. Three, Corey. Last summer I flew from London to Casablanca in Morocco to do some research on the traditional music there. Unfortunately, my bags didn't arrive with the flight. I thought they would probably arrive on the next flight, but they didn't. I had nothing to wear except the clothes I was wearing. Luckily, the airline gave me some money to buy some extra clothes and things. The bags didn't turn up till four days later. I was really glad to get my bags back because I had a lot of important stuff inside them. But I had to wait around until they turned up, so I didn't get a chance to listen to any of the traditional music. That's why I want to get back there again sometime. Four, Melanie. I was on vacation in Australia last summer when I got a terrible case of the flu. I had to stay in bed for four days, and it was a week before I was feeling well enough to go out. I have a cousin in Sydney who was really kind and spent a lot of time with me until I was better. By then, I only had three days of sightseeing left before I had to leave. I saw the Sydney Opera House, and that was about it. The most awful thing is I didn't have the chance to go scuba diving. I want to go back and scuba dive there. It has the best coral reefs in the world. Page ninety-six, four. Let's listen. Task two. Listen again. Why does each person want to go back again? Write the correct letter. <laughs> 